Hello friends. Now we will see the wage saved thin films. Before going to discuss the wage saved film, we have to see about the interference. See, interference is the phenomenon of redistribution of light energy due to the superposition of light waves from two or more coherent sources is known as interference. See, this is about the interference pattern and in interference pattern thin film plays a vital role. See, an optical medium is called a thin film when its thickness is about the order of one wavelength of light is in a visible region. Thus, a film of thickness in the range of 0.5 micrometer to 10 micrometer may be considered as a thin film. And once we got an idea about a thin film, then we have to discuss about a wedge shaped film. Then wedge shaped film is a thin film having a, a zero thickness at one end and it increases progressively to a particular thickness at the other end and that is uh, it is called as a wedge and a thin wedge of air film can be formed by two glass slides resting on each other at one edge and separated by a thin spacer at the opposite edge. See, in this diagram we are able to see how the wedge shaped film forms. Just in this construction the arrangement is given for observing the interference pattern in a wedge shaped film. The figure A shows us the wedge angle is usually very small and of the order of a fraction of a degree. When in the diagram we can see very easily a parallel beam of a monochromatic light eliminates the wedge from above then the rays reflected from its two boundaries uh, bounding surfaces will not be parallel. They appear to diverge from a point near the film. The path difference between the rays reflected from the upper and lower surfaces of the air film varies along its length due to variation in film thickness. Therefore, alternate bright and dark fringes are observed on its top surface. This phenomenon or of which type the uh, or top surface is observed is given in figure B. The fringes are localized at the top surface of the film. Then in the figure C when the light is incident on the wedge from above it gets partly reflected means in this figure we can see that A, B is a incident beam. Partly it is reflected from the glass to air boundary at the top of the air film. Part of the light is transmitted through the air film and gets reflected partly at the 
air to glass boundary as shown in this figure the two rays bc and de we are able to see in this uh, diagram ray diagram thus reflected from the top and bottom of the air film are coherent as they are derived means that coherent means as these rays are derived from the same ray ab through division of amplitude the rays are close enough if the thickness of the film is of the order of a wavelength of light for small film thickness the rays interfere producing darkness or brightness depending on the phase difference the thickness of the glass plate is large compared with the wavelength of the incident light hence the observed interference effects are entirely due to the wedge shaped air film see the optical difference between the two rays we can see in the diagram the ray bc and de is given by delta equals to or the optical path difference equal to 2 mu t cos of r minus lambda by 2 and see this is given again we can refer the diagram or a figure d by which we can say that a dark fringe occurs at a where the relation 2 mu t cos of r equal to m lambda is satisfied and in this diagram we are able to see ab is the distance between the successive dark fringes and it also equals the separation of the successive bright fringes it is therefore called the fringe width beta and that is ab equal to beta we may write this equation beta equals to lambda upon 2 mu tan of theta see for small values of theta tan theta will be equal to theta and therefore beta equals to lambda by 2 mu theta this is